Chapter 12 Vehicle Titling and Registration Titling Your Vehicle Whether you are a Missouri resident buying a new vehicle or a new resident who recently moved to Missouri, you have 30 days to visit your local license office and take care of your legal responsibilities to title your vehicle. A title is proof that you own your vehicle. When you buy a vehicle, you must apply for a title within 30 days. If you do not apply within 30 days, you will have to pay a penalty fee. You may apply for a title at any license office. The title will cost you $8.50 and you will be required to pay a $6 processing fee. You will have to pay all state and local sales taxes due. For information on the amount of sales tax you will have to pay, contact your license office. Call 573-526-3669 or visit our website at http colon double forward slash dor dot mo dot gov forward slash and enter the following sales tax calculator into the search box. When you apply for a title, you will receive a receipt. You will receive your title in the mail from the department. A title is a very important personal document. Do not keep your title in your vehicle. What you need to get a title. The requirements are different for new and used vehicles and for vehicles bought in Missouri and outside Missouri. Following is a description of the requirements for these situations. For vehicles bought in Missouri. For a new vehicle bought in Missouri. The dealer will give you a title application and an assigned manufacturer statement of origin, the MSO. The MSO indicates the vehicle is new and has never been registered. You, the purchaser, and the dealer must complete the odometer disclosure portion on the back of the MSO. For a used vehicle bought in Missouri, you must receive a properly assigned title, see below for the explanation, from the seller that proves that you bought the vehicle. If you bought the used vehicle from a dealer, you should also receive a completed title application. A proper odometer disclosure on the back of the title is required on vehicles that are less than 10 years old. If the title assigned to you is an out-of-state title, you must get an identification number and an odometer verification form, an IDOD, completed by a licensed inspection station. For vehicles bought out of state, for a new vehicle bought out of state, you must receive the dealer's invoice or a bill of sale and a signed MSO from the out of state dealer. You, the purchaser, and the dealer must complete the odometer disclosure portion on the back of the MSO. For a used vehicle bought out of state, you must receive either a properly assigned title, see the explanation below, from the seller or a reassigned title from the dealer. If the state does not require a title, you must get a bill of sale and the vehicle's last certificate of registration in that state. A proper odometer disclosure is required on vehicles less than 10 years old. If the title assigned to you is an out-of-state title, you must get an identification number and an odometer verification form, an IDOD, completed by a licensed inspection station. Properly Assigned Titles A properly assigned title has the following information completed in the assignment area. The buyer's name and address. The odometer reading, if applicable. The sale price of the vehicle. The date of the sale. The name of any lien holder, if applicable. The signature and printed name of all sellers. And the buyer's printed name and signature, if applicable. Salvage vehicles. For information on titling a vehicle bought for salvage, dismantling, or rebuilding, Call 573-526-3669 
Or write to Missouri Department of Revenue, Motor Vehicle Bureau, 301 West High Street, Room 370, P.O. Box 100, Jefferson City, Missouri, 65105-0100. Odometer Readings When you buy or sell a vehicle that is less than 10 years old, the seller must write the mileage reading on the title assignment. If the vehicle is new, the odometer reading must be on the MSO. Both the buyer and the seller must print and sign their names, verifying the mileage. In some instances, a separate odometer statement may be required. Registering your vehicle If you are a Missouri resident, you are required to register your vehicle in Missouri. If you are a new Missouri resident, you must register your vehicle within 30 days of becoming a Missouri resident. If you are a new Missouri resident, you must surrender your out-of-state title and apply for a Missouri title. If a financial institution has your title, you must provide your out-of-state registration, lien holder's name, and lien holder's address. The license office will generate a letter for you to send to your lien holder. After you surrender your out-of-state title, a Missouri title will be issued and mailed to you. When you register your vehicle in Missouri, you will receive Missouri license plates and a license tab located on the plate. You may register your vehicle at any license office. If you are registering a passenger vehicle, your registration fee will be based on your vehicle's taxable horsepower. If you are registering a commercial vehicle, your registration fee will be based on its zone and gross weight. An additional processing fee will apply. You may be eligible to obtain a two-year registration for your vehicle. During an even-numbered year, like 2018, you may register for two years if your vehicle has an even-numbered model year. Likewise, during an odd-numbered year, like 2019, you may register for two years if your vehicle has an odd-numbered model year. Otherwise, only a one-year registration is available. What you need to register your vehicle About two months before your vehicle registration expires, you should receive a renewal notice in the mail. If you do not receive the notice, you are still required by law to renew your license plates before they expire. To ensure you receive a renewal notice, Remember to update your address if you move. You can email doormail at dor.mo.gov and include your full name, old and new address, your driver license number, or the last four digits of your social security number, and your vehicle's license plate number or numbers. The renewal notice will list your requirements to renew your vehicle registration. Make sure to read the list and bring the required documents to the license office with you. The requirements are listed below, but all of them may not apply to you. A renewal notice from the department, a registration receipt from the previous year, or a copy of your title. Paid personal property tax receipt, or a statement of non-assessment from the county in which you reside, or the city of St. Louis, for the period of your previous registration. If you had a one-year registration, show the previous year's receipt. If you had a two-year registration, show receipts from the previous two years. You will need current insurance identification card or other proof of financial responsibility. Refer to Chapter 13 for detailed information. You will need the current certificate of safety and or emissions inspection done within the last 60 days, if applicable. Refer to Chapter 14 for more information. You will need the correct registration and processing fee. Here's a tip. You may also be able to renew your plates online at http colon double forward slash dor dot mo dot gov forward slash mo tor v forward slash plates forward slash if you are eligible for this convenient option, 
a personal identification number, a PIN, will be printed on your renewal notice. Other information. Selling a vehicle. State law requires you to report the sale of your motor vehicle or all-terrain vehicle by completing a notice of sale, Form 5049, and submitting it to any license office or to the address on the form within 30 days. Stolen license plates and tabs. State law allows you to replace stolen license plates and tabs up to two times per year at no cost, a $3.50 processing fee is applicable, if you sign a notarized affidavit certifying the plates or tabs were stolen. Lost or destroyed title, plates or tabs. If your license plate or plates, tab or tabs, or title is lost or destroyed, you must apply for a replacement. The charge for a replacement title is $8.50. The charge for replacement plates is $8.50 per plate. And the charge for a set of replacement tabs is $8.50. An additional processing fee of $6 will also apply. Personalized and Specialty License Plates You have the option to obtain personalized or specialty license plates for your vehicle. In addition to the normal registration fee, there may be an additional personalized plate fee. Information regarding personalized and specialty license plates may be found online at the following address. HTTP colon double forward slash DOR dot MO dot GOV forward slash MO TORV forward slash plates forward slash specialty dot PHP. This concludes chapter 12.